Hello, this is the Renegade Gamer, and I'm playing. Uh, I'm not playing anything right now. Um, I'm in Missouri today. Uh, as you probably clicked on this video, you're expecting the Final Fantasy VII report. Um, now, a couple of years ago, I did a couple of v videos regarding Final Fantasy VII. One of them uh, was about a Final Fantasy VII update um, that we hadn't had one in a long time. The other one was actually regarding some technology that they said they were doing at the time. Uh, of course, on May the 9th, uh, we had the trailer drop. And uh, I've watched this trailer quite a few times, and uh, I wanted to get my own views out here. Uh, I know that the, a lot of people out there want to talk about Final Fantasy VII, but Final Fantasy VII is a game that's close to my heart. It's, this ain't about clicks, this ain't about views, this ain't about jack shit like that. Look, you can watch my videos, you don't You don't have to. I don't give a shit. I, I post because I enjoy doing it, okay? <laughs> Um, but Final Fantasy VII is a game that I find very close to my heart. It's the first RPG I ever played. It is the one that opened up my eyes to the entirety of RPGs in general. So, this remake means a lot to me, and it's something I've been waiting on. I'm 37 years old. I've been waiting on this for 22 years. <laughs> so, it means a deal, great deal to me, okay? Um, but what I watched, uh, I... It looks like it's going along pretty well. The uh, We already knew it was supposed to be action-based combat. It does, for me, when I watched it, it didn't really look like Final Fantasy XV's combat. I know a lot of people said it does, but uh, there was... With Final Fantasy VII... Or, sorry. With Final Fantasy XV's combat, you had to hold the button down. That's basically all you did. You hold the button down, and they automatically would attack all over the place. I noticed that when I was watching them, that they were constantly hitting the attack buttons over and over, which indicates that, yes, there is more interaction with uh, what you are doing. Now, I don't know if it's related to actually moving the analog stick around or whatever, but we do also know that uh, Braver is in, in the game, uh, so is Cross Slash and Big Bang, or not Big Bang, uh, Big, uh, Big Shot. Um, these all look like they are incorporated into kind of like combo attacks, sort of uh, light more than likely there's also a couple of new uh things in here called a uh, back back blast which was on barrett and uh also uh punishment on cloud i have no clue what either one of these is going to do exactly um we also had a reveal of uh what eris looks like she looks great um i liked her voice uh I thought that she, uh, while, while the previous voice actress that did her, uh, Mina Servano, I think that's what her name was, I thought she did, a, I thought she grew into the role. I didn't think she was all that great in Kingdom Hearts 2, but she definitely grew into the role as, as, uh, she went into many of the, the other, uh, aspects whenever Eris appeared. She, she definitely got better as she went. Uh, I still preferred Mandy Moore, but, you know, hey. But the new actress they got playing, uh, Eris, I thought she did pretty good. Uh, we only heard a few lines of dialogue from her, and uh, they sounded nice. Um, it's a voice that I can get behind. It, it doesn't sound clueless. <laughs> uh, Barrett's voice, um, I was expecting a little bit more of a gruff voice, but the one they got, I think it'll work. Uh, I was just expecting something a little more gruffer and more base i guess uh is the best way to say it and then uh cloud ironically was not voiced by uh um i shoot i can't think of the guy's name it's steve something um he didn't do the voice work i, I noticed that right off the bat i was like wait a minute who's voicing cloud here um I, but you know the voices worked for the most part i didn't have a real big issue with um uh, it did. I'm not sure if it's George Harris. I think it's George Harrison was doing the voice of Sephiroth or not, but uh, the voice never sounded fine to it at the moment. So let's talk about specific things that we've seen in this uh, video. Uh, we saw some of the updated uh, monster designs that they're going to have. Uh, the Negahagen, um, or the Neghagen, which was in... Uh, Oh, basically, it was in the it was in the uh, ghost train yard, if I remember right, with Eris and um, Cloud, or it could have been the sewers. Uh, we also saw. Uh, oh, shoot, I always get confused. Is it Raps or Apps? I think it's Raps that's underneath uh, the sewers of Don Cornolio. I might be wrong. It could be Apps. Okay, that, there's an R in one front, and the other, and the other one doesn't have it. Uh, I thought he looked really well. I hope that they still could maintain the, the tsunami uh, attack that he has. Um, which is always dead, which was devastating uh, in the original. Um, I hope that he keeps that attack. Uh, I'm interested to see what their new uh, 
enemy types is, uh, especially Hell House. I would love to see what Hell House looks like. Um, you know, the, uh, there, there's quite a few enemies in <laughs> Seven that are very bizarre looking, and I, I can't wait to see them. Uh, we we also know that Typhus uh, was in the battles, but she was not showcased, so we don't really know what Typha looks like exactly. Now, I know there's been a big uh, debate over the whole SJW trying to screw with Typha's bus size and her looks and all this mess. Um, look, all I want, I want Typha in the game and basically I want her to be you know, look like Typha, okay? That's all I'm asking. I, you know, if she's got like 40 double D, I don't particularly want that. But then again, she doesn't need like, you know, 30 D at 30 A's, you know. Um, she, you know, she is a well rounded woman with a waistline and slender in the middle and has a bust, you know. I mean, that, that's what she looks like. Um, I'm perfectly fine with that. I mean, they could use the uh, the Advent Children model, and that would work per perfectly fine for me. Um, it's not a giant deal, but she does need to look like Typho, okay? <laughs> Uh, the other big thing I kept hearing people argue about is uh, Barrett with the voice. Uh, like I said, the voice is fine. I would expect I, ex I was expecting something a little more gruffer, but the voice that came out was fine. I mean, it's one I can it's one that I can adapt. I think everybody's got their own idea of what he sounds like in their head, but I mean, I, I think it's fine. Uh, graphically wise, something I don't really talk about much. It looks great. The Unreal Engine is doing a great job with uh, the graphics here, okay? Um, of course, we don't know much more information yet. Uh, we are going to get more in June around E3, and that's really what I'm looking forward to here. Um, but there are some things I want to discuss here. We got to see uh, the Red Scorpion uh, first boss fight. Uh, we got to see some more of that fight, um, which we had already seen two years, uh, well, actually, I guess about three years ago, during their little pre-trailer they put out, which was, anyway. Um, but we noticed that there was a environmental damage that was coming out. He fires off a shitload of rockets, and they hit the wall, and it's coming down. There's fire going off in the, uh, the sector, oh, my God, uh, sector seven reactor. Um, you know, there's a lot more uh, detail that seems to be pushed into the to the remake. And what, in other words, what I'm saying is that Square's been taking their time and has been pushing a, a lot of stuff into it, it looks like. Um, so, I mean, for the most part, I mean, Jesse, I thought she looked fine. Uh, Wedge, I thought he looked I think it was Wedge. No, I'm sorry, it's Biggs. Biggs, I thought he looked good. Um, you know, the the soldiers. I'm with the the out the uh, the uh, uh, mask, three eyed helmet thing that they get that the three eyed helmet thing they got going on. Um, it reminds me of a uh, Crisis Core. Um, it looks fine. If I remember right, I think that was a Crisis Core. <coughs> uh, but there's some other things that uh, I'm curious about here. So. I, the, what I really want to talk about is the final, the final thing that you see in this whole thing, uh, whole uh, uh, trailer, which is Cloud and Sephiroth, and it's fire around them, and we're not sure exactly where this takes place. <laughs> um, my th my first thoughts when I saw it, it's like, okay, I guess this means that this takes place in Calm. But I've heard people speculating that it could take place in Midgar somewhere. If that's the case, then it means that they have expanded upon the story more and have introduced him into Midgar. Because Sephiroth was in Midgar. We know that. Um, because he's the one that, uh, spoilers, uh, kills President Shinda, <laughs> uh, Shinra. Um, but they never interact with each other. Uh, actually, they never interact with each other until we actually get the boat outside of Junon. But... Um, I mean, they kind of interact with each other. It, it, if you never played the game, it, you know, Sephiroth's kind of in Cloud's head for quite some time. Um, but uh, that that's the question here is I'm not sure exactly where this takes place. If it does take place at Calm, what this makes me think is since the game's being released episodically, maybe the game's all in Midgar, and then uh, the last part of the game is in Calm, um, which is possible. Uh, but that also means that 
if it's in episodes, that the second part, I guess, would be the chase after Sephiroth all the way to the <clears throat> big event in uh, the ancient city. I, I'm not. I don't want to completely spoil this. I mean, if you played seven, you know what I'm talking about. Where uh, the water scene, where you know you end up fighting uh, Jehovah Life at the time. Um, I'm really skating around spoiler here um, for a 22 year old game, but I do realize that there are new people that haven't played this, so um, and I don't want to spoil that. Uh, that would be my guess where the second part would end. Then, if this if this is the case, then that would be my guess where the second part ended, and then the third part would take up from there, uh, basically to the end of the game. I might be wrong. <laughs> it's possible. It wouldn't be the first time I've been wrong about something. Uh, I mean, my prediction two years ago was that we may not see Final Fantasy VII until 2020 to 2021. Uh, right now, um, I'm not sure. I'm waiting until June the 6th to kind of put a prediction out of when this game would actually be out. Uh, but I'm hoping that we're looking at either a late, 19, uh, a late 2019 release or an early 2020 release. But I guess we'll find out in June. So, but yeah, um, that's pretty much all my thoughts. Uh, musical wise, I mean, it's it, there's not much to go off yet. I know it's Nabot, uh, Yamatsu that's doing it. Um, the direction, I, I, I like where they're going with it, is what I'm getting at. Uh, I'm interested to see what all the characters will end up finally looking like. Um, I want to see, I especially want to see Sid, I want to see Vincent, I want to see Yuffie, I want to see uh, Cat Scythe, and I don't, I guess the big reveal at uh, E3 will be uh, Typha herself. Um, they may or do, they may show off more scenes from the, the, the uh, what they got done so far, but I guess we'll have to wait till then. Um, but yeah, so, as a Final Fantasy VII fan, for the last 22 years, okay? And uh, don't don't give me don't, don't don't take this the wrong way. Seven is not the my favorite Final Fantasy. It isn't. Uh, it's up there, but it's not my favorite. But seven is the one that brought me to the game. It is the one that brought me to the RPGs, and it's a game that I do still hold dear to my heart to this day. Um, I don't think it's the best RPG ever made by any shot, but I like I said, it's still one I enjoy immensely, and it's uh, right there. Uh, and I'm looking forward to this remake, and this is what I want to see. So, <laughs> um, I'm glad for what I saw so far. Uh, I'm still a little bummed out about the whole action RPG thing, but you know, it looks like it's going to be done well. As long as it's done well, that's all I ask. Um, there are still some things, and I've been watching with the action RPG elements. I'm curious about because we still have. Uh, there's a yellow bar over here that looks like it's filling up for the limit break. I understand that part. But we still have the two bars here that are blue bars. And I'm not sure what the hell that that's supposed to be exactly. I don't know if it has something to do with ATB or if uh, it's like uh, stock. You know, you can only attack when you have stock or you build up that. Or I'm not sure exactly what that is right off the top of my head. Um, it also still looks like we can change characters, which is great. Um, I'm not sure exactly how that's going to fly. I think it was R2 and L2 is what I saw. It looked like it wasn't going to be on there, but I might be wrong. Um, overall, really impressed. Looking forward to it. When uh, E3 comes around, I'll definitely do another video on Final Fantasy VII. If, if I see any more news come in between him now and then, that's significant. That that's one of the reasons I haven't reported on seven in so long. News has not been significant. It's been basically just here's a screenshot. You know, just nothing to talk about there for me. Uh, I'm gonna sit there like, well, yeah, it's a screenshot, big deal. <laughs> you know, it's just artistry. I mean, no, no, no offense to the artist. It's just artistry. You know? It's like whoop the fucking do. <laughs> I I want to see gameplay. I want to see where are y'all sitting here. You know, and uh, we finally got that. So good and uh at e3 hopefully we get more so um well i know we are because they promised we're going to get we're getting north e3 so when that comes rolling around i'll do another video on seven i also got to do a ton of videos on e3 in general so but anyway so i'm the renegade gamer y'all take it easy i'll catch you next time